Welcome to this podcast of medical tax credits. This is part one of the series of podcasts on this specific subject and we have broken it up into two pieces because otherwise it's a little bit too long. So before we start with this portion of the medical tax credits, you need to understand where medical tax credits slots in with the taxable income framework. When we do a calculation, the first thing we're always going to do is calculate your taxable income. After you've calculated your taxable income, you then after go and calculate your normal tax. And from your normal tax, you deduct rebates. Now, a medical tax credit is a rebate, as would your um, age rebates be uh, like your primary, secondary, and tertiary rebate. A medical tax credit is also a rebate. So please remember that this is not a deduction. It is a rebate that you get. Medical tax credits are divided into two types of medical tax credits. So the first one is if a person is younger than the age of 65 years of age and then no person has a disability. No person being either the taxpayer or any of the dependents on the taxpayer's medical aid. So if you fall into this category, you get a certain a way and how you're going to go calculate your tax credit. There's also another category which we're going to discuss in part two of the podcasts. If a person is younger than 65 and no person has a disability, you get two credits. The first one is your medical schemes fees tax credit and the second one is your additional medical expense tax credit. So with the medical schemes fees tax credit, if you contribute it to a medical aid fund, you get this tax credit and it's a fixed amount that you get per month, which we're going to look at when we do the example. The next one is your additional medical expense tax credit and this tax credit you can get if you have excess contributions and other qualifying medical expenses and there's a certain calculation that you need to follow. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go and calculate your excess. Now an excess is your medical aid contributions less four times your medical scheme fees tax credit and that equals your excess contributions. Now excess contribution can never be less than zero. It must always be a positive figure. To that you're going to add your other qualifying expenses and if this excess plus other qualifying expenses exceeds 7.5% of your taxable income, the difference you're going to go and multiply with 25%. If this excess and other qualifying medical expenses does not exceed 7.5% of your taxable income, you get no additional medical expense tax credit. Okay, so let's go do an example. Rose is 42 years old, so in other words, she's younger than 65 and she's married. Her husband and her sons are dependents on a medical fund. And neither Rose nor any of her dependents have a disability as defined. So she would be, fall into this part one type of a medical tax credit because she's younger than 65 and neither the taxpayer nor any of her dependents have a disability as defined. A taxable income amounted to 328000 and a normal tax is correctly calculated as 7293 so we've already done a portion of the calculation for you. Her employer contributed 5000 rand to the medical aid fund for the full year and she also made the following payments being her medical aid contributions for the year which is 20000 rand and then a qualifying medical expenses paid and not refunded by the medical aid fund which is 30000 rand and you need to go and calculate Rose's medical tax credits for the current year of assessment. So the first thing you need to go and calculate is her medical schemes fees tax credit. Remember we said it's a fixed amount and it is 270 Rand for the first two people on the medical aid, they're after 181 Rand and this is a rate per month. So you'll see she's going to get 270 plus 270 plus 180. A 181. The 270 is for Rose, the 270, the next 270 is for her husband and the 181 is for her son. Now she's going to get a tax credit of 7 to 1 per month but because we're calculating the a tax liability for the year we're going to go and multiply it with 12 because she contributed to the medical aid fund for 12 months. Remember if she only contributed to medical aid fund for 10 months you're only going to go and multiply it with 10 and remember this is deducted as a rebate as we said. So when you calculate when you put it into your tax framework, you're gonna go calculate your taxable income. They're after your normal tax. So you will see the next step is to go and deduct your medical schemes fees tax credit as a rebate. Now remember, this is just to illustrate where medical schemes fees tax credits fall in, but in a normal scenario we'd first go and deduct your age rebates from your normal tax.
The next step is to go and calculate the additional medical expense tax credit. Now this tax credit you get when you have an excess plus other qualifying medical expenses which exceed 7.5% of your taxable income. So the step, first step is you need to go and calculate the excess contributions and your excess is always a positive figure. It can never be a negative figure and the word says it all. It's an excess. The excess is calculated by taking the employer's contribution plus the employee's contribution and deducting four times your medical schemes fees tax credit from that. Medical schemes fees tax credit, we calculate it in A. Remember, it's the fixed amount that we calculate. And if it is more, in other words, if it's a positive figure, you get an excess. Let's go calculate that. So step one, it's your contribution plus your employer's contribution. So it's 20,000 plus the 5,000. So you get 25,000. From that, you deduct four times your medical schemes fees tax credit. The medical schemes fees tax credit we calculated in part A, which is 8652. So you will see four times 8652 gives us 34608. It gives us a negative amount, therefore our excess is zero because an excess should always be positive. Your next step is to go and add your qualifying expenses to your excess. It's pretty easy. You take your excess which you just calculated. You add your plus, uh, qualifying expenses of 30,000 rand. We need to go and apply a limitation. Now the limitation is 7.5% of your taxable income. Remember, if your excess plus your other qualifying expenses exceeds 7.5% of your taxable income, you get this additional medical expense tax credit. To go and calculate this additional medical expense tax credit, you take your excess less 7.5% of your taxable income times 25%. Now remember, if the limit, the 7.5% of taxable income, is greater than your excess plus other qualifying expenses, then there is no additional medical expense tax credit. It's very important to remember. So let's go and apply that. So our excess plus other qualifying expenses, the subtotal was 30,000 Rand. So our limitation is 7.5% of our taxable income, and the taxable income was given to us in the question. It's 328. If we go multiply that, you get to 24,600. Now you'll see your limitation is less than your excess plus other qualifying expenses. So the difference, we're going to go and multiply with 25%. However, remember if your limitation wasn't 24,600, but let's say it was 40,000 Rand, then you would get no additional medical expense tax credit because your excess plus other qualifying expenses is less than your limitation. I hope this podcast helps you to understand how we're going to calculate the medical schemes fees tax credit as well as the additional medical expense tax credit. Bye-bye.